Section 5.2, Applications of Exponential Functions. What we're going to see in this section is that we apply exponential functions in three general scenarios. The first is the basic exponential problems. And this is when you see exponential growth, exponential decay. If you see something that says we have an exponential model, in general, this is what you're working with. The form of this equation is a equals f of x, which equals a sub 0, 1 plus or minus r to the x, where x is the time or the number of intervals that we've passed through. a is amount after some time, so x is always our input, and a is our output. a sub naught is the initial amount, or it's the amount at x equals 0. That's why it has this little sub 0 here. And r is the rate of increase, which would be a positive r, or decrease, which is a negative r, in decimal form. Let's look at an example. Example 1, the half-life of C14 is 5,720 years. Linen from scro scrolls have C14 in them. An archaeologist finds some scrolls that he believes to be 4,000 years old. If the scrolls are really 4,000 years old, what percent of the original C14 should be left? Okay, if you see a half-life problem, right away, this means we are dealing with an exponential problem. Half-life is basically how much time it takes for something to decrease by half. So the rate is going to be negative 0 0.5 because we're decreasing by 50 percent every 5,720 years. So the rate equals negative 0 0.5 and let's go back to our equation. So we have a equals a sub 0 1 plus or minus r to the x The initial amount of C14 is going to be 100%, so we'll just write as 100. We want to know how much percent is left after a certain number of years. And x is going to be the number of 5,720 year increments we go through. Meaning, if we've gone through 4,000 years, And we take 4,000 divided by 5,720. We get 0 0.699 or 0 0.7. So we've gone through 0 0.7 of a half-life. Well now we can plug everything in. We get A equals 100 times 1 minus 0 0.5 to the 0 0.7. We get A equals 100 times 0 0.5 to 0 0.7. Remember your order of operations. A equals raise 0 0.5 to 0 0.7 first. We get 100 times 0 0.616. And A equals... 61.56 percent. So we have, if the scrolls are really 4,000 years old, they should have 61.56 percent of the original C14 content. And the reason that makes sense is because we know if we've gone through 4,000 years, we've only gone through part of a half-life. We haven't even made it to the full half-life. Thus, we should not be down to 50%. We should be above that 50% mark. And 61.56 is above the 50% mark. Okay. Example 2 will be in the next video. You want to go ahead, write down the question, try it on your own, and follow the solution in the next video.